good morning once again and welcome back to my channel my name is Doris and the word that I have for you today is that there is a big door that is set before you but before we get to the word let us pray father I thank you I bless you I glorify your name Jesus Lord I thank you for yet another opportunity that you have given me to share your word with your people father I don't take it for granted but I take it as a privilege and Lord I pray that this word is going to be a blessing this one is going to be an encouragement this word is going to be a revelation to somebody may you anoint your word lord even as i release it that whoever is going to hear this word my father they shall hear that which you're saying to them in this hour in jesus name i pray amen the scripture that the lord gave me is in the book of revelations chapter 3 and you are going to read from verses 7 to 8 and this is what it says this thing says he that is holy he that is true he that has the key of david he that opens and no man shuts and shuts and no man opens i know thy works behold i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it thou has a little strength and has kept my word and has not denied my name. There is a big door that the Lord has set before you in this hour. Once God closes a door in your life, you can never go back. You can never go back to what God has already brought you out, out from when God closes a door in your life, there are two things that is going to happen in your life. You either move on in faith, possess your promise, and possess your possession, or you will die in the wilderness because of fear, because of doubt and unbelief, because of murmuring and grumbling. When the Lord closed up the Red Sea, the children of Israel were never able to go back to Egypt. Despite all their complaining to Moses, there is nowhere in the Bible that it is recorded that even one of them managed to go back. All of them that crossed over the other side of the Red Sea, the ones that believed, entered into the promised land and possessed their possessions. The ones that doubted, the ones that allowed fear, the ones that murmured and grumbled against God's promise, they all died in the wilderness. With God, there is no shadow of turning back. When Lord turned back, she turned into a pillar of salt. You cannot turn back. You cannot go back to where God has brought you out from. When God brings you out, he burns all the bridges. He closes all the doors to the past. You can never go back. You can only move forward. Trying to go back to what God has already brought you out from is a death sentence. You will die because of fear, because of unbelief, because of doubt, because of murmuring and complaining. You have to keep on moving. It doesn't matter if you don't understand where you are going. It doesn't matter if you are clueless as to what God is doing in your life. You have to keep on moving. Revelation will come as you keep on progressing. God reveals on a need to know basis. When God is leading you, he reveals to you only that which you need to know at that particular time that you are in. The Lord never gives you the full picture of your destiny. You must learn to trust and move by faith. In his word, he says, he that puts he that puts his his plow in the field and looks back is not worthy of my kingdom. Your place of trouble always leads to an open door in your life. Don't ever turn back. Don't look back. There is a big door that the Lord has set before you. For some of you, the big door is your marriage. For some of you, the big door is that me ministry. For some of you, the big door is that business. For some of you, the big door 
is that breakthrough, that healing that you have been believing God for, that deliverance that you have been believing God for. There is a big door that is set before you. The door of your destiny is set before you. Some of you have been experiencing storms after storm in your life and this is because the devil wanted you, wanted to take away your peace so that you can, you operate out of fear because he knows once you start operating in fear you will doubt what the Lord has spoken to you. You will start second guessing what God has said to you. When Jesus said to his disciples that we are going on the other side, there is a storm that rose up to hinder them from crossing over. The enemy wanted them to focus on the storm so that fear can get into them. But on the other side, there was an assignment of deliverance that awaited them. And the fact that Jesus has said that they were going on the other side, they could not turn back. They had to keep on moving. When God speaks, move with that word that the Lord has spoken to you. Some of you have been experiencing great warfare in your life, especially this year. Many people have gone through a lot of warfare, strange warfare. You have you many have grown weary many of you your faith have been stretched to the limit to breaking point you felt like you could not keep on going because the enemy knows that there is a big door that is set before you and the devil has been fighting your alignment to God's timing he knows that it is God's time the timing of the Lord is upon you there is a big door that is set before you and the enemy doesn't want you to walk to your breakthrough. It is time for you to enter into your breakthrough. It is time for you to enter into your promise. It is time for you to possess your possession. Whatever it is, whatever promise that the Lord gave you, be it of, of a child, be it of a restoration of deliverance whatever it is the promise of recovery stick with that promise focus on that promise because the door is set before you the enemy has been throwing distractions at you so that you don't perceive and discern that which is before you all that has been happening around you, these are distractions from the enemy. The enemy has been lying to you. There is a door that is set before you. You must discern. You must perceive this door that the Lord has set before you. Don't focus on the distractions that the enemy is throwing at you. He wants you. He wants to blind you. He wants to to put these distractions are a veil so that you don't see this big door that is set before you. You have been waiting for a long time. There are some of you who have been waiting for a long time and you have grown weary. But the Lord says that he has seen, even though your strength is small, you have not denied him. You have not denied the word that, he's, that he has given you. You have held on to his promise and now the time has come for you to cross over the threshold and get every blessing that you have been waiting for on the other side every promise that the Lord has given you every prophetic word that he released over your life it is waiting for you behind that door there is a big door that is set before you don't turn back don't look back don't give up don't be discouraged don't focus on the distractions of the enemy the lord is saying to you there is a big door that is set before you the lord is saying to you to enter through this big door that is set before you you have to walk by revelation.
the only way that you are going to get through this door is by revelation not by your own strength not by your might stop looking at how weak you are stop looking at how weary you have become you are going to walk through this door by revelation not by your strength a break is coming into your life and you will see a sudden release from the Lord he is gonna walk you through this big door that he has set before you some of you have been fighting great devils in your life some of you have been fighting great warfares you have been going through cycles of never-ending wearisome battles and you have been wondering when they are gonna end because your strength is depleted but the Lord is saying to you all this warfare all these battles it will break suddenly and it will give way to your breakthrough the enemy has been trying hard to make you quit the enemy has been trying hard to make you give up the enemy has been trying hard to make you turn back he has been trying so hard to stop you from moving forward because he knows that there is a big door that is set before you in this hour no one can shut this door that the lord has set before you no one can shut this door that the lord is opening before you in this hour because this is the door of your destiny you are walking into your god ordained destiny that which you are ordained that which the purpose of your life for which the lord created you for the door is set before you it is time for you to walk to your destiny many of you have gone through there are many of you who have gone through the pain of despondency some of you have gone through the pain of despair some of you have been experiencing the pain of depression some of you have been struggling with the spirit of fear that has been trying to hinder you from moving forward the fear that has been trying to make you doubt, that has been trying to make you give up on the promises of God. But your joy is coming. Change is coming in your life. You can never go back. You can only move forward. The Lord, it is God who has brought you out and he is leading you and he is going to walk you through this big door that he has set before you. Before this door opens, God must break some things from off of your life. You have reached a point where you cannot stand what you are going through. It has been so tiresome. It has been so taxing. You have been enduring so much to the point that you feel you just can't take it anymore. The Lord has to remove some things from off of your life before you walk through this door he has to break off the weariness from off of you he has to break off that unbelief that door from that you have allowed in your life it must break before you walk through this door and the lord is saying to you you have done you have done all that you know to do now it is time for you to stand stand in faith because he is gonna stand for you in this hour some of you have become so serious because of all the warfare that you have been going through because of all the battles that you have been going through you have become so serious in everything that you do you have been focusing so much on the pain you have been focusing so much on your bitter expectations you have forgotten how to relax you have forgotten how to play you have forgotten how to rest and the lord is saying to you learn to be like a child again learn to play again the lord is saying to you i am restoring that childlike faith that you once had but lost it because of all the warfare you lost it because of all the battles you have become too serious
The door of your destiny is opening on your behalf. The big door is set before you and you are moving into a new place. Some of you, you have been warring for so long. But now it is time for you to praise. It is time for you to worship. Worship the Lord in this hour. Praise him until worship comes. It is time for you to move from being a worshiper and become worship unto the Lord. The Lord created you for worship. Your worship is going to bring the Lord's glory upon you. And it is his glory which is going to walk you through this big door of destiny. In his glory, there is no resistance. In his glory, there is no resistance. You are moving and you're going to enter through this big door that the Lord has set before you. You must go to the place where God showed you. You must possess that promise. You must possess your possession. You must leave alone people who will hinder you. Now it is not the time to carry everybody on board. Now it is time to focus. You must see that door that is set before you. You must perceive that door that the Lord has set before you. This door is a big door. It is the door to your destiny. You must be at the right place at the right time to walk through this door. There are destiny events that God is releasing in your life in this hour and you must perceive these destiny events that God is releasing in your life. You must recognize them because there are some who are going to miss it. But the Lord is saying to you that you are not going to miss these destiny events because you are being aligned with divine timing in this season so that you are able to walk into your destiny. Take your time to rest. Take your time to play. Be, learn to keep your body in divine rest. You have been warring for too long. You have been battling for too long. Learn to keep your body in divine rest because when this big door opens, you will not be able to rest. You will accelerate and you will move with speed. There is a big door, a door of your harvest. Is set before you when you are at a time that you cannot comprehend what God is doing in your circum in your life when your circumstance is contradicting what God said to you know that there is a big door that is set before you hold on to the hand of Jesus hold on to that promise he is bringing you he is bringing you through. He is going to walk you through that big door that he has set before you in this hour. For you who have been feeling forgotten, some of you have been feeling alone. It is because God had to put you on a shelf and he left you there because he wanted you to rest. It was his way of giving you a Sabbath of some sort so that you can relax so that you can continue dreaming. So continue dreaming no matter what. Because he is going to bring you out of that shelf. And when he brings you out, he's going to bring you out with a new mantle. He's going to bring you out with a new anointing. You are coming out a new you. And he needed you to be ready for this big door that he has set before you. The Lord is taking you out of that shelf and that of that shelf, and it is time for you to move. Move into your destiny. Move to where Jesus is. It is a new day. It is a new you. The door is set before you. The big door of your destiny is set before you. Don't focus on the destruction that the enemy is throwing at you. He doesn't want you to disarm the door that the Lord has set before you. May the Lord open your eyes and your ears of understanding to see this door that he has opened for you in this hour. You are moving into a new day. 
May the Lord abundantly bless you and remember that your Father loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love with is in Christ Jesus and I love you guys and I appreciate you so much thank you for liking and sharing my videos because by liking and sharing my videos you are helping me to send this gospel to the ends of the world and that is the Great Commission and I thank you for, sub for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for your giving for all of you who have been supporting this ministry God bless you and increase you in every area of your life remember that i am praying for you and i am standing with you in prayer may the lord bless you